It's the fun guy guy, the fun guy guy. He finds the fun guy, we find out why he's the fun guy guy, the fun guy guy to find out about fun guy. Then you could do was to give this guy a try. Yeah, well, I bought the album on the back of it. It's rubbish. Oh, hello, you who. Well, this is an exciting day. I'm in the school grounds, uh, the primary school where I work, and I took the children out for a nature club last night, and I said, hey, look at these hazel trees. This is where you get hazelnuts, which create things like, who's had Nutella? And they all went, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so they could associate with what I was on about. And then when he went under the hazel to have a look, um, what should be there but a great big bunch of these things? Well, what are these things? Well, these things, my first ever find, there's about 20 or 30 of them, of the elfin saddle, Helvella. Helvella, like you, yeah. So, I'd memorised that, just to sound good, and now I've forgotten it. Shall we take a, take a closer look and have a look? Yeah, come on then. What's he talking about, man? I like this guy. He ain't got no style, but I like him. There's something there. Now what this guy's trying to tell you, I can tell you. Now that's because I'm Cyril, the Latin squirrel. And Latin, that's where it's happening. Now, so he'd be right with Helvella. This crazy cat is Helvella like you know sir. There it is. I made a sign look. And like you know sir, well that there be the Latin meaning full of hollows. Now, let's hope this dude points that out. So here they are, look. Ooh, look at them. Elfin saddles. Isn't that awesome? These crazy, creepy little growths. And they're all around. There we are, a little bit more. They're all around. Like I say, there's a lot of fruit bodies there. There. Can you see them? Can you see them all? There they are. And there's the, pr oh, there's the proof of the hazelnuts. There we go, a little bit of context. There's another one. This one's a whopper. Check this one out. Look at you. If I put my hand over it for a little bit of scale. It's quite big, isn't it? Quite big. Yeah? How does it feel about this fine? So, I'm on his brain. Let's see how he's feeling about this fine. So, this mushroom, this fungus, I should say perhaps more accurately. Um, grows in mixed deciduous woodland and coniferous too, right here, I'm presuming it's growing in association with these hazel trees. Uh, and often in burnt rich soil or burnt ground. I'm not convinced we've ever had fires under these hazel trees, or certainly not for a long time. Um, but nevertheless, here they are. What a lovely little spectacular thing to see. Did he just say spectacular? Is he making up words now? I like his made up words. I think they're absolutely fabulant. Uh, what else do I want to tell you about these? Uh, I want to tell you the Helvella family is uh, Ascomycete, which means that, uh, or an Asco for short, which means that, is he still on me? Ooh, it's bright, isn't it? Um, which means that it's a spore shooter. All the spores are kept on the, the outer surface of, of these convoluted, these like wobbly kind of floppy flaps. Uh, on the on the top of the stem there, the, 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 what essentially is the cap for this mushroom, this fungus, and and it shoots them out when these little sacks get full of water, the microscopic stuff, but it can shoot them out apparently up to thirty centimeters. There we go. I've done my homework. Um, and let's should we take a close look? Should we have a look? Because I'm just talking in, in, in front of grass. Let's have a close look. Come on. As you can see, first of all, I mean, to be honest, I don't think I need to do an ID on this one. I'm only doing it because it's such an amazing thing to find. Um, as if this looks like anything else. It's bonkers. So it's got that crazy stem with furrows and holes and even chambers inside it. Will that focus enough? Give me some. Yeah, there you go. Little caves and entrances into its stipe. Look at that. Look at that twisted. That's crazy bonkers stuff, that. And as for that cap, well, this is that furrowed globular whatever bonkers hood do you know what it looks like do you know what that looks like to me there what's my best angle there there look at that that could be a dementor from harry potter that that is so dementor i think we need to rename that uh the dementor fungus helvella dementor um because that is exactly what that is that big puffy cloud of 
black fabric that scares the jeebies out of people, which potentially this mushroom could do too if you came across it, unless you're in the know. Hang on, my wife's just texted me about the blind, the kitchen blind snapped. I can look, drop it one side now, you know, when you've got a thingy, those kinds of blinds. Or oh, the string snapped, I've got to uh, ring the landlord. Anyway, let's not be distracted from this. While I was readjusting my tripod there then, um, I realised, I looked at it and I thought, actually, it could potentially be like the puff of cloud, keep it on the Harry Potter theme, that Death Eater puff of poof, where they appear and then attack, and Ron goes with his face like he does um, when, the, when, when the Death Eaters are attacking the Potter and friends. Um, so it could be like, like the puff there, and then I thought about what that name would be, the Death Eater, uh, Helvella Death Eater puff. Doesn't have the same ring, does it? But if I just swing it round, now it looks like some contorted, caped, hooded figure of the Dementor. So I'm going with that one. Let's stick to that one. I'm going to cut it open. Let's have a little look. So I'll cut it open and take it out. Let's go down the centre. Oh, it's not an easy one to cut. That could be because of the strange surface, or because I've got a rubbish knife. There we go. Woo, look at that. Yeah. That is what you're looking at. And like I said, you're left with all these uh, little pockets and chambers. Chambers, it's all Potter. It's all Potter. This is the Harry Potter edition. So yeah, the elf in saddle. Little elves would ride along on this weird, convoluted, strange saddle. Happy, happy days. I'm loving this. I found nearly like, it must be like 30, 40 of these things. Brilliant. Uh, if, you're, if you're in disagreement with me and actually think it should be the, um, the Death Eater Puff and not the Dementor, maybe you need to decide. Helvella Dementor? Alvella de Death Eater Puff. You decide some kind of voting system online. I don't know how that would work. I don't know how to set these things up. I can barely log in. Um, so here we go. There it is. What a lovely thing to find that is. A lovely thing to find in abundance. Great stuff. Yeah? All right then. Toodaloo. See ya. Did you not get the email? Ale, do you remember our last meeting we discussed about maybe doing a fun send off at the end? You know, like a catchphrase. Did you think of one? Uh, I've just come back to the camera. I wasn't happy with my send-off there. I feel like I need a little phrase like, happy hunting, something like that. Uh, but that sounds really weak. Um, again, some kind of, no, maybe I'm asking you to think of what I should say. That's lazy, isn't it? I'll think of something. And uh, maybe from now on I'll say, happy hunting, or better, bye. <laughs> happy hunting.